YouTube. It's your boy JB and Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504 Jesus from the Big Easy Hit and welcome y'all back to the showroom. And I know it's been a minute since I made another a lab video, but definitely appreciate everybody who's been subscribing, tuning in to the other videos and everything of that matter. But before I get into anything, I like to personally, personally, personally thank each and every one of y'all who've been reaching out uh over my IG. Y'all know who y'all are. Uh this is on DM basis only, but um Truly appreciate the words of encouragement and everything. And um, but not gonna be too long on that. But also, today's video is gonna be on the upcoming UNC info on the upcoming UNC uh Jordan 1 Eric Costin collab, Nike SB collab. But before I get into anything, I like y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And definitely, definitely follow me on all my social media platforms if you're not already, uh, if you're not already following or anything like that. And before, first things first, get into the, the, the haul, the toy haul as always. So first, finally got my hands on the Spider-Man Far From Home, the, the Navy, uh, the navy suit oh man i think my spider-man collection is actually becoming like it's just as many i'm getting just as many of these as i have iron man figures now but yeah definitely have to get this one and i also came across the end game war machine you can see right here got my got my uh roadie road war machine from the Avengers Endgame. Definitely glad to add this one. This one is a this is a beefy ass toy for real. It got some weight on it. Also came across my Mandapool Wolverine figure. If y'all not familiar with this version of Wolverine, this is when he was in Mandapool when he was uh in Japan. Definitely, definitely uh gotta be a comic book fan for this one but i'm glad they're bringing more of the uncanny x-men line out for the most part and on top of uncanny i also got the last figure of well no this is not the last figure of my other wave that's my uh that was my damn that was my caliban wave but uh yes i do have nightcrawler as y'all can see here this is the wendigo builder figure uh wave and i think i yeah i'm missing a, a, like five four, five other figures so i'll be getting those soon in the collection i actually pre-ordered uh a few more figures so they'll probably be in the next couple weeks or whatever the case may be and i ran across another power rangers lightning collection this is from the new series of beast morpher this is beast morpher gold ranger as y'all can see here and you can definitely see that civilian head on there glad to have him in the collection and also i got my lost galaxy lightning collection ranger as y'all can see this is the magnet defender uh this is mike the only gripe i have with this figure and i'll probably get into that on another video but this is for the uh people who actually collect these figures the only gripe i have about these is it did not come with a civilian head and i don't think uh I don't think the character Mike actually had a helmetless scene with the Magnus Defender costume on. So that's probably why they didn't add the head in there, but we all know who the Magnus Defender is for the most part. And um, this is actually an early look on this figure in general because this figure is not really hitting shelves yet. I think it's street dated, but I was able to get my hands on it early. So yeah just be on the lookout these may be popping up and there's also the uh armored black ranger that's supposed to be coming out as well um uh, and yeah and last but not least let's get into this this is super saiyan broly from the, Dra the dragon ball super version and i'm gonna just be all the way real with y'all i wish this figure was bigger like this this figure should have been like a little bit bigger than what it really is. If y'all can pay attention to like the height difference between him and Goku, like this should have been like a little bit bigger. I mean, I wouldn't mind paying an extra uh maybe five or six, five dollars, extra five dollars for this to be like 
at least a seven inch scale a seven to maybe hell it could have been a, a damn near eight inch scale if it meant we would have got the mask that we were supposed to have for Broly because uh, like him and Goku are damn near the same and this is in his Super Saiyan form so and Broly's already a tall character in comparison to Goku and Vegeta anyway but yeah I mean uh, still a dope figure to, for the most part I mean the detail is okay on there I might get into that a little bit later but other than that yeah it is what it is Alright, but let's go ahead and get into this right here. Let's talk about the UNC Jordan 1, which is scheduled to release on August 10th at Skate Shops. I'll probably put a list of Skate Shops up here somewhere. And also, not only that, let's talk about this for the most part with this shoe. This is another Jordan brand SB collab, just like the first one. And I'll pull that out so we can have comparisons between that and these other uh joy one loads that i have right here so um let's just go ahead and get into it right all right as i was saying you know eric costin he has a he has another uh jordan nike sb collab coming up and as uh incorporating this shoe right here the air Jordan one low og and it's going to be in the unc color which i have some pictures of that up there as well and basically the uh initial thing behind that is is actually paying homage to the shoes he found in the outlet in a similar colorway, but um, but the only thing the only thing about the Eric Costin Jordan One SBs is they did do changes to that in comparison to the regular Jordan Retro uh, Retro Low OG, which is they reconfigured the swoosh they reconfigured the tagging and the badging and all that uh pretty much because uh if i remember correctly there is a price a serious price differential between this and the other shoe let me go get let me get that box for y'all right quick all right let's let's look at the difference between the box as y'all can see on this box right here this is the uh nike sb air Jordan one low quick strike and if you could read on there, the price of this was 110. As you can see there. And on the price of the Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG, the price was $130. If y'all can see that right there. Let's see, 130. So that's a $20 price difference from the OG and the collab. Now to be honest with y'all, I don't understand why there's a serious price uh, differential between the two because to be honest with y'all, that this is technically a SB pricing right here. This is a SB pricing at 110. But you have the full, you have the zoom unit in the bottom of the shoe, which this one does not have. And uh, this is actually some good materials that they actually put on this from the suede and also from this uh, from this leather as well. But for the most part, like I said, it's basically the same shoe. They just reworked in different ways. Like, if you notice, the OG has this large swoosh on there. If you can pay attention to that. And on this one, the swoosh is actually smaller, which will be the case on this UNC color that's coming out. That's actually a smaller swoosh, just like this one. It won't be like the large swoosh that we've been seeing on the OG lows, which I, I really prefer this swoosh over this slimmer swoosh that's this is technically an sb swoosh like right here i can understand that part of them adding it but i mean that's an og colorway that they're putting on that jordan one low and i really didn't see why they just didn't put the large swoosh on there in the first place i can understand them rebadging this from nike air to sb but uh, other than that it shouldn't have really been no real major changes on there and not only that, like I said, the differentiating of the Jordan 1 low OG compared to the low, the modern low, which I'll show you right here, like the Travis Scott. I've heard people been complaining about this Travis Scott shoe and saying they wish it was more of the OG, bro. Like, this is the OG low. Like, there's no, they didn't rework anything. Like, this is how you know who pays attention who's been in the game long enough and who's just running their mouth 
Like I'm trying, like a lot of times I don't be trying to come at these these uh other sneaky YouTubers next like that. But bro, like get y'all facts and stuff together, bro. Like before you do anything, like they research everything else, but then they just get to run their mouth and just start talking that nonsense, bro. But on the Travis Scott low, it's the exact same type of low that the OG low is. This is the type, like that's the same type. That's why they called it what they call it. And this is the Air Jordan Low Modern. This is literally a modern version of the Air Jordan Low. So whoever is spewing that uh that BS, they could go ahead with that. But other than that, like I said, this is the OG version of the shoe. They didn't rework it. It's, everything is the same as it was on the original OG Low. But um now we get to this modern version as y'all can see right here this is the technically these are 90 dollars at the store this is just the uh, politics collab version so it was like a hundred dollars even but for the most part like i said uh it's just a reworked version of the low top and as y'all can see the stitch the stitch foot is on the lower panel of the collar of the heel counter is on the lower collar instead of being up here and the swoosh is actually reworked as well this is a smaller swoosh in comparison to the og swoosh and Jumpman brandon as well and a 23 on the on the tongue to, uh on the middle of the tongue which you do not see on the travis scott let's get that let's get that clear like this everybody's talking about the resurgence of the edge on one low and why it has hype now. There's always been a degree of hype with the lows. It's just, they're broader now. They're putting more better colorways on there. People are now starting to see and venture out getting mids and getting low tops now as comparison to the high, which we've been saturated with for the last couple of years. So, I mean, it's good to have a variety. I've always been a fan of low tops. I've always been a fan of the mid tops. My first Jordan was the UNC uh, patent leather in 2003, which was technically a mid, but we were still, we were getting mids and thinking they were highs back then because that's all we had. It's the same height as the 2001 breads. So there's not really that much differentiating between those two, those shoes right there. But for the most part, like I said, man, I'm kind of looking forward to this Eric Costin uh, release. It's going to be, I I see him selling out. Now, as far as resale is concerned, give or take resale right now, uh, anywhere from $200 to $250. I've been seeing right now, you know, smaller sizes, seven through, uh, seven through eight are usually the sizes that go for the most, the money sizes for the, for the most part size 11 and 10 and a half which i could wear an 11 and a half which is the size i usually could wear they're all they're already over uh, at 250 right now so i mean for the most part i could definitely see this shoe uh doing some numbers now as far as uh, availability is concerned i like i said skate shops august 10th uh some other boutiques are going to be getting it that's on the 12th and i believe nike sneakers is going to release them on the 12th as well so you might want to uh keep up with that but uh don't want to be too long on the video as always man i appreciate y'all tuning in and as always stay true stay fly stay blessed i will catch y'all on the next video and i am jc baby and y'all in the showroom and i'm out you dig